Now, you know, <clears throat> when I first seen this stuff come across my timeline, I was gonna take like a total different approach because at first it pretty much like rubbed me the wrong way and I just felt like it ain't something to joke about. Like you got Charleston White, um, he don't like this podcast, YouTube channel or whatever, you know, I guess they do this thing to where they do like 20 girls versus one guy. Now, like when I first stumbled across it and I didn't even get a chance to really like tune in, but I seen like a, a thumbnail come across my timeline a while ago with Boozy. So I'm like, man, let me check that out. Then I think I seen like two or three other things. So I'm like, okay, they doing their stuff. That's how they run their program. And then today I look up, you know, No Jumper put a, 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 a video out there on Instagram pretending to Charleston White. And I guess during the hunt, well not guess, Cause you know, I think I'm also gonna put that clip on here right after this, so y'all could, you know, see exactly what took place. But you know, instead of like bringing the 20 girls for Charleston White, um, I guess the dude, whoever the dude is, I read some in the comments, and I, I guess his name is like Unghetto or something like that. You know, it looked like he pretty much um, booming in the content space or whatever, but. He took it upon himself, or maybe as a group, I don't know how they run a program, whatever. They chose to take it upon themselves to bring a person that's a guy trying to be a woman and turn it into a joke on Charleston White. And Charleston White pretty much, you know, loses his cool, pretty much asks for his back end. I want to say the dude on ghetto said something like, nah, you know, like, uh, I'm not giving you no back in until you finish what you supposed to finish. And it's like, what part of that show, like, what, what part of that make you think that that's okay? And I'm talking about the individual who set that whole settings up. Like, what part of that lets you think that that's okay? Like, first off, even for that individual that's a guy trying to be a woman, Think about that community that you represent. You know, you guys are always talking about somebody don't respect y'all and take y'all serious. But you let your self in your community get used as a prop, as a joke in a serious situation. You know, like once you start using your community and what you stand for as a joke, people can't respect it. You know, like, I'm not on here trying to judge or ridicule or, you know, call out anybody for however they want to live their life and what their choices are. But when you use yourself or when people are allowed to be used as a joke, that's what you are, you know? And I just feel like what part of that was going to even be, like, really funny? Like, what are you trying to get some type of shock value? Are you trying to get Charleston White to uh, lose his cool more than what he lost it and get what? Like, that's not even respectable. Like, that's, it's, it's more offensive. Like, if a person does not deal in that type of form, then you shouldn't try to force that upon somebody. That's very disrespectful and that's very distasteful. And, you know, I tried to slow down my road so I could give a better approach to hopefully somebody can learn from what I'm speaking. But I just totally disagreed with that. That was weird. It was strange. Like, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And, um, you know, this is like a first for me. I had to come out and defend Charleston White. But I mean, I guess it ain't too much of like di directly defending Charleston White, but I'm just speaking about that whole situation and speaking about what parts of that situation that I'm very uh, against, you know? Like people gotta learn the difference from respect and content. Like you got content, you got all that stuff, but don't confuse that. Like move with respect, move with some honor, have some integrity, you know, stand for something, have some empathy. 
And I don't know if uh, Charleston White got his back in. I don't know if that other guy, you know, chose to pay him. I feel like he should pay Charleston White because he set that stage up and he got to be taking accountability for him inserting something that wasn't in the agreement because Charleston White kept saying contract not in void because you didn't do something in the situation that wasn't in the contract. So that would have been a stand up thing to do. Like, hey, I wanted to try something for, you know, for jokes and giggles. It don't work, but I'm going to still be a stand up individual and handle my good business. Because that's not doing good business when you don't even keep up, when you don't keep your part of the deal. You don't, you don't own up to it, you know? You got to keep your word. If not, that's making you a bad business guy. And I'm not taking nothing away from whatever success that you have. But I'm just pointing it out. And also, you know, it is Charleston White and it is entertainment and it is, you know, internet. So it could be a possibility that this whole situation was created just for content. Maybe Charleston White was in them. I really don't know. But I got to speak on that because it could be a possibility. That's just how stuff be going nowadays. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment, man. You know, try to be as responsible. I mean, try to be as respectable as you can. Keep it a Benji like I always say. And if not, don't jump in. And, you know, y'all let me know, man. You know, stuff is getting stranger and stranger out here, man. But shout out to the Dice Crew, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.